Switzerland. The mountain country located in Central Europe, a snowy wonderland in winter, the land of hills and past trees in summer, and a medieval fairy tale all year round. It combines the charm of European tradition and the gloss of one of the world's highest living standards. Welcome to our guide to safe traveling in Switzerland. Highlights and things to do. Train tours. Not only are the trains a very convenient way to travel between the Swiss cities, but they're also a highly relaxing and enjoyable way to explore the mountain and forest landscapes. Switzerland offers many exceptionally picturesque views, and there are numerous train routes existing solely for people to do nature sightseeing from a warm ambient cabin. Any train ride can do the job, but there are also some train routes specifically designed to entertain. The Golden Pass Tour consists of three segments, Luzern, Interlaken and Montreux. It offers one of the most stunning views of Swiss nature. You will have to change the trains throughout your journey, but the special experience of seeing Alps, Lakes Lucerne and Geneva and much more will be worth it. Active sports the most obvious things that come to mind when thinking about an active holiday in Switzerland are skiing, snowboarding and hiking. In reality, the choice is much wider. E-biking in the Swiss Alps, sailing in a pedalo boat in Zurich, skydiving, clambering, kayaking, bungee jumping and paragliding. There is a truly unique adrenaline adventure opportunity right outside Basel. Visitors get a chance to bobslide down the one kilometer long trail. It's also a very ecologically sound attraction, as the lift taking the lovers of extreme backup is powered with the solar power system. Chocolate Switzerland is the homeland of such globally beloved chocolate brands as Lindt, Tumbleron, Nestle, Volinvita, and many other. Lots of Swiss chocolate factories are more than 200 years old and they have truly perfected the art of chocolate, bringing their confections to the pedestal of the best quality and taste in the world. Most of the Swiss chocolate brands have their factories open for visitors. For example, you can tour the Lindt factory in Zurich, sample their chocolate and even come up with your own flavor. Most of the chocolate sampling tours are taking place in Zurich or Geneva. Spring baths. Switzerland offers a number of spas and hot springs. The local Swiss water has always been known for its richness in minerals and healing properties. Luke Bad Therms is the largest hot spring in Switzerland and Alps. It includes swirl baths, a cool pool, saunas, and a variety of springs with a temperature of water ranging from 28 Celsius to 43 Celsius. All the water comes from the resort's own underground springs. There are other options available for those who choose to stick to larger cities, Therm Bad and Spa in Zurich, or for those with limited budgets are outdoor baths in Bern, which grant free entrance. Art and culture Switzerland has a very rich culture combining their ancient traditions and modern technologies and art. There are traditional Swiss festivals taking place all year round, and there is no better way to immerse into the life of Helvetic Celts, the population of ancient Switzerland. One of such festivals is the Alpine Processions. Taking place in Appenzell and Dockenberg in May, the emphasis here is on the ancient Swiss rituals. It's all about the ceremonial leading of the cattle to their Alpine pastures. Participating locals dress in traditional costumes while tending to the cattle. The whole thing is a by the sound of the cattle bells and the herdsman yodeling. Switzerland has things to show to the contemporary art lovers too. Platform Eten, near Lausanne, offers its visitors to explore the unique modern fine art, photography and contemporary art exhibitions by cutting-edge artists from all over the world. The concept of the gallery building was designed by the Spanish architecture company Pazori Vega, very popular in Switzerland. Traveling tips Swiss Pass to minimize travel expenses, one might want to get themselves a Swiss Pass. Swiss Pass includes boats, trains, buses and over 500 museums all over Switzerland. It also provides up to 50% discounts on the most mountain railways. Traveling can be limited or unlimited depending on the type of pass you get. Top water. All top water in Switzerland is 100% safe to drink. Most of it comes from the underground water sources and is considered to be of a very high standard. Speeding. If you are traveling in Switzerland with a car, be aware that the Swiss speeding consequences are rather serious. You can expect to pay roughly 35 pounds for every 1 km per hour over the speed limit. And if you exceed the limit by 20 km per hour or over, you can expect to lose your driving license for at least a month and receive a criminal charge. It only gets worse from here. Euros one of the most widespread misconceptions about Switzerland is that it's a European Union country. In reality, although it is a part of a Schengen area, it is not a part of European Union. Therefore, remember to get yourself the Swiss francs. You can still pay with euros in certain places, but you will save money in the long run by using Swiss francs instead. Most of the kiosks, supermarkets and ticket machines in Switzerland offer fair exchange rates. Traveling insurance Switzerland doesn't have free healthcare. 
only private or semi-private. That's why it's crucial to get yourself an appropriate traveling insurance that can save you a lot of money and, more importantly, your health and even your life. Street safety. Although Switzerland is considered to be extremely safe due to the accessible education, high wages and living standards, as well as a strong economy, one must stay cautious. According to the latest statistics, the most dangerous cities in Switzerland are Basel and Solthorn. Other big cities like Zurich or Lausanne are also not devoid of accidents and crimes. Pickpocketing common crime in any densely populated urban area. While exploring Switzerland, only take what you need with you. Leave the important documents like your passport in the safe at the hotel. Watch out for people coming too close or bumping into you as they might be trying to pickpocket. Petty crime. Street robbers in Switzerland are most likely to target tourists. They operate in public transport, crowded places and touristy areas. Occasionally, they may operate in a pair or as a group. There have been instances of people being robbed on night trains. Therefore, keep your valuables in a secure pocket or hidden among the rest of your luggage. Groups of tourists are less likely to be targeted by criminals. Street gambling and bootleg brands Yet again, these types of scams are most common in the big cities. Local deceivers in Geneva might aggressively offer tourists to play the illegal shell and pee game where the ball is supposed to be hidden under one of three boxes which are shuffled and the player is asked to guess where the ball is. Tourists place bets and almost always lose as the deceiver removes the ball from under the box and then places it back under a different one. Another type of common scam most often encountered in Zurich, Bern and Geneva is people aggressively selling bootleg clothes and sneakers from the white ones. Public disturbances. This type of disturbance is seasonal and normally takes place during football and other sports matches. Football is the most popular sport in Switzerland. Locals love playing and watching football games. Due to the strong feelings local experience towards this sport, there are sometimes riots around stadiums and other city areas. Sometimes the aggressively hyperactive and often drunk fans have to be controlled by the police. Nationalistic groups. Although strictly persecuted by the law, there are a few nationalistic groups in Switzerland. These groups may single out minorities. Crimes of such nature are uncommon. Nonetheless, one must stay cautious while traveling. Environmental hazards Swiss hiking trails are often rocky, icy and snowy, which can lead to the person getting lost or injured. Make sure somebody knows where you are heading before you decide to go hike, as well as study the terrain beforehand using the internet or detailed maps. Similarly, if you decide to ski, make sure to study the offered slopes and tracks and do not deviate from them. Use the two-way satellite communication devices while hiking or skiing in the wilderness. And of course, evaluate your own physical capabilities and do not take skiing slopes or hiking tracks that you think you might not be able to conquer. Customs and Traditions Petrov Prayer Call It can normally be heard in the summer months in the mountain meadow region of the central Swiss Alp. It is an ancient tradition when at the end of the long working day the main herdsman finds an elevated location and makes a loud deep noise using their hands cupped around their mouth or an empty milk funnel. The beauty of it is that it can be heard at long distances and it creates a unique peaceful atmosphere. Chagata. The best way to describe it is a Swiss Halloween. Just like the autumn celebration we're all familiar with, Chagata originates from a folk tale with elements of religion. At the beginning of February, beastly figures covered in fur, cobwebs and leather, wearing spooky masks, old shredded clothes and horns, walk around the Lochental Valley near the Bernese mountain range forests and scare people wandering out there in the night. According to the legend, the monsters are meant to scare away the evil spirit haunting the human settlements. Among other things, these mythical beasts have been known for throwing snowballs at tourists. The monsters also get free drinks at bars, so if you feel like dressing up, creeping people out and getting a freebie, go for it. Manners Swiss people are very keen on etiquette and manners, therefore it's uncustomary to talk or behave loud while in Switzerland. This rule applies to public transport, restaurants, cafes, hotels and street. Of course you can still party, but there is a time and place for everything. Thank you for viewing our safe travel guide about Switzerland. Visit safetravel.org for more information on safer traveling in Switzerland and many other countries. Always stay safe and we really hope you enjoy your trip to Switzerland.